This is water, living water. It burns both outside and inside. In Russian, it's called samogon. In English, it's called moonshine. And now I'm going to make it. This is sugar, lots of sugar. First of all, we make a syrup out of it. To make the taste smoother, we add citric acid. It breaks the sugar down into glucose and fructose. This is yeast, which is a single-celled fungus. It is as alive as we are and also really likes sugar. Yeast digests the sugar and produces ethanol. Any alcohol is a fungus waste product. Remember that next time you drink. Then we add yeast to the syrup. Fungus doesn't like air, so we close the container tightly and install a seal to release carbon dioxide, which builds up inside during the fermentation process. Now we wait. The brew could be ready in a couple of days. You can drink it, but you really shouldn't. Then the brew is poured into the distiller. Don't worry, I disinfected my mouth. It's 100% clean. We tighten up the lid. Then we link it up to water for cooling. Then we turn on the heat. While the water's heating up, here's a little theory. Water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. Ethanol boils a bit lower, at 78 degrees. Inside the still, the vapors go into the tube, get cooled by the water, and turn back into liquid ethanol. But this time, it's extra strength. The first drops are hogwash. It's called sibucha in Russian. You really shouldn't drink it, it goes in the garbage. After making the first cuts, we collect the ethanol until its strength drops to 40%. Now this is almost semagon, but not quite. First we need to filter it. This is charcoal, porous stuff that absorbs impurities left in the semagon. Then we filter it and add a favorite flavor. I really like lemon, basil, juniper, mint, and pomegranate. Now we wait for a few days or a few weeks, depending on the ingredients. Then we distill it all over again. Voila, the Samagon is ready. The living water. It smells good, feels good, and burns, but it doesn't last long. Nazdrovia.